What's up, YouTube? This is two maps out here with another step by step video tutorial on how to cut in your soap. Now, if you are new to my channel, kindly hit the like and the subscribe button to get that with the notification bell right beside it. Because if you don't, I'm definitely going to chase you around in your dreams and I'm going to give you nightmares. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So, without further ado, let's get right into why we are here. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be making use of this funny male model picture I downloaded from Pinterest. The link to the image is in the description for those that want to download and follow through the video. So, the first thing you want to do is to head over to the pen tool. Now, before I start, I make use of a um, pen template. It's an Neon H640P pen template. So, that is what I use for most of my drawings, for all of my drawings. <laughs> Pardon me. And that's what I'm using right now. And um, I make use of three different brushes. So I'll be creating those brushes now. For the first brush, just make sure you head over to uh, the pen to make sure this is crossed. Um, if yours is not, if it's this way, just make sure you head over to this known that you click on it, then it becomes crossed. And it's just left. And you're left with just this. Add over to the uniform. So this is the first brush I'll be creating. Increase the stroke, make it three. Add this last brush. Okay. Tints. Okay. So this is the first brush. For the second brush, we'll do the same as well for this. The last brush. Now the last brush is majorly for those that make use of the pen tablet. If you make use of mouse, this and function will work for you. Then head over to this as well. Then calligraphic brush. Reduce this to five. Then pressure. If you use a mouse, you can't get this function. Okay. Then increase to five points. That's okay. Delete it. So the first thing I'll be doing now is to create my outline. So you want to head over to the layer tab, create a new layer. So this is where I'll be drawing my outline. And in order to be able to see the edges, though, I would like to dim my image. You head over to the image layer, you double click, then dim image to I use 80%. You can play around with yours. This is what works for me. Okay. So you change this back. Make sure this is black and this is in tongue crossed. Then go to your pencil tool. Now for places where you have overlapping lines, what you want to do is um, you select everything, head over to objects, expand appearance, then you go to windows, the pathfinder. Once pathfinder shows, you click on divide. Alright. So you select the entire selection tool and just click on where right overlapping and delete. So it deletes that part for you. It's as simple as that. And when I don't draw in the outline, well, let me. So the next thing is you want to create a new layer above the outline. This is the layer where I'll be adding the details. 
and that is when I'll be needing um, the other two brushes I created. But for now, I'll be making use of this brush too. For now, okay. So what I'll be basically doing is just adding, you know, colors over all these, um, you know, just to make it more realistic. If you understand. So in order to do that, you use the opacity. Um, yeah, the stroke as well, and just add the colors. Okay, now that we are done adding the details to the outline, the next thing is we'll um, copy the outline, lock the top outline here, then you pick your color, head over to objects, expand appearance, then to pathfinder. If you don't have pathfinder, you can go to window, then you see pathfinder, pathfinder. Then you click on match. So once that happens, pick a color, just any color. I use green because it's clear. Apply it over. Right click, arrange, send back. Then you pick everything. Head over to Pathfinder yet again, then click match. Once that happens, Go to die selection to leave the outer layers to delete the colors. That's what I'm doing. I'm just pressing delete, just deleting the colors outside. That is what I'm doing. I'm going to delete the one inside too. Just the base. So the next thing is to try to add the eye color, eye base color, then the lips base color, and um, this part of the clothes. So in order to do that, you need another window where you can, you know, pick colors from. So go to file, then open. Check where you have your picture and click it. So you drag this down. Once you do that, I'm going to pick, I'm going to be picking colors from this and then applying it. So um, since you want to change for the high, go to um, my dropper to and try to pick um, a color from the high. Okay, so you double click and you copy, you copy this. Okay, so you now come back to your um, artwork. Using the die selection tool, you choose the high part. Why holding the shift in order to choose multiple parts? I'm holding sheets right now, I'm choosing. So you double click and you paste the color you copied and it applies. Okay. Okay, so I've been able to apply the base color to the eye, the lips, the part of the clothes, and um, his earring. So the next step is to add details to this part. That's what I'll be doing next. So you lock this layer and then you create a new layer above it. Now the next thing I want to do is to start adding details to the eye and the lips. Okay, so to do that, create a new layer above the outline layer and um, go on to eye dropper to pick the eye color. 
and I'm, I'll, I'll go um, a little bit darker first before I walk my way back to um, the lighter part, okay? So just reduce it a bit, okay? And you draw, this is my reference image. So I'm checking exactly where I feel um, is darker on the image. Or to make it easier for you, you can just um, tug on the visibility of the image there and tug this off. Okay, so it brings it out for you, and you can easily apply to areas that you feel you know are darker. Okay? So this is how it looks like. So I'm just going to apply the same color over again and reduce the opacity of this of this new color I'm adding on top of it so now that I've added I pick them while you need shift I pick the colors I just added and then I reduce the opacity let me get this out of there I reduce the opacity to around um, 45 to 49 or 45 to 50 depending on you know which one I want so having done that, I try to go further, I reduce this further and then I keep applying. I'm still looking at the reference image while doing this. So whatever you do, try to still stay with your reference image as much as you can. And once I'm done with that, I try to, you know, pick up the base color as well and I create a new layer above the layer I just worked with and I try to apply the base color above um, some of the shadows just so I can blend the colors better. This is not compulsory, I just like doing this instead so it's just to blend it better. Yeah, so I pick it up and I reduce the opacity as well. You can choose to do this or not, it's just your decision, it's not compulsory. Okay. So then I increase, because I'm making a transition out to the highlight, I increase it a bit and I apply at areas I feel are lighter. Okay. That's fine. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat the same process for the second high. The process of adding the shadow, adding the shadow, and then working my way back to the highlights. So that's the same thing I'm going to do now. So I'm going to create another layer above the outline, pick the base color, and repeat the same process. Now since I'm done with the high, the next is to turn out the details to the lips, okay? So now to do that, I try to, in order not to make uh, my layer tab too messy, I try to place the whole uh, inside the layer. Place them inside the layer, then I lock it up. Now to start with the lips, you need to create a new layer above the outline as well. You know, pick the base color. And I'm going to do the same. I walk my way down to um, the shadow first and then I walk it back to the highlight. Okay, so the first thing you do is to pick a darker color that you have here. Once you've done that, to see um, you know what you want to work with easily, you can decide to toggle the last background image on and then you toggle this off so you can see your image clearly. So just apply on places that you feel um, it's dark or darker than so just apply on pieces that you feel is darker than um, the base color so that's what i'm going to be doing now
now that I'm done with um, the shadows, it's now time to work my way back to the highlight. Okay, so I create a new layer above the shadows I've drawn. Then I toggle off the visibility of everything so I can see the picture well. And I apply the base color, you pick up the base color. Then I apply the base color on places I feel are lighter. Okay. Once you are done with that, just toggle on the visibility back, pick the new color you just drew, head over to edit, edit colors, color money, and increase this a bit and reduce this a bit as well. Okay. Now draw a little bit of color right above it just to blend it well. Use the opacity. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Now, since I'm done with adding details to the eye and the lips. The next thing is to add the base color for the face, okay, and it will be from my reference image. So the first thing you want to do is your, your first outline that you drew, you copy it, and then you drag it to just right above the image layer. Then you toggle up the lock, pick the other color, head over to object, expand appearance. Then you want to go to Pathfinder. If you do not have it here, you can go to Window, then Pathfinder, and um, you click Match. Okay, once you do that, you go to your reference image, zoom in, and just check where you feel is um, where you feel befits the base color. Okay, that's a point that that isn't dark and the point that is not too light. Okay, I think this sh this should be okay. Then you copy, Ctrl C, come back to your artwork. Then you paste on the paste Ctrl V. Okay, once you do that, come to rectangle to and just drag over your image. Right click on the image, go to arrange, send to back. Then pick the whole picture, come to Pathfinder and merge again. Okay, once you do that, come to your die selection to click outside your image and delete. So once we delete the extra colors, we won't be needing this, not this, not this. We won't be needing this as well. Now you can still adjust um you can still adjust the base color as much as you like and if you want to do that if you feel it's still a little bit off you can pick the whole color then go to edit edit colors then color harmony then you can adjust this is the base color so you can adjust to fit your preference okay um, I think this is fine. Okay, hit OK. Now, once that is done, the next thing is to start adding details to the base color. So, now I'm going to start um, shading, and I still use the same process. I walk my way down to the shadow and I come back to the lighter part, which is the highlight. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is on your outline copy, you create a new layer. Once you create a new layer, pick a color from your artwork and um, we'll go down further down to the shadow. But while picking the color, make sure you go as diagonal as possible. We'll start with that. 
So you toggle off this and toggle on the um, image layer. So I'm just going to start shading on layers I feel are uh, you know, darker than the color I originally have. Okay. Okay, this is the first shadow layer, and yeah, these are areas I feel are darker than my base color. Okay, so the next thing I will do is to even go um, deeper, and in order to do that, you go back to your color and reduce it a little bit further. Do not go too much; go as diagonal as you can. And once you are done with that, create a new layer above the layer you just drew. Toggle off the visibility of both layers and try to draw on areas that are even darker than the previous um, shadow you, you drew. Okay, so that's what I'm going to keep doing now. Now, in order to blend the colors better, the next thing you want to do is um, pick the color you just finished drawing, and I'm just going to, you know, draw the color at um, points between the color and this first shadow layer I drew, just to blend um, better. Okay, so I draw right above it, and I reduce the opacity. So that's basically what I do. So if I don't draw in, just pick the color up, come to opacity. So you use opacity between 47 to 50. All right, that's good. So I'm going to do the same with um, the other, the other part as well. Now, since we are at this stage, the next thing is to even go darker on the shadow because we can still see some um, a lot of parts that are still a little bit darker than the ones we have here. So we'll still go through the same process. Pick the last color you used, create a new layer, and lock the other layers, and then you go diagonal a little bit. Okay, then you click OK. So we'll try to apply on areas that will still feel a little bit darker than the ones than the ones we have here so so toggle up the visibility toggle on the last one and i'm just going to apply my colors as i've been doing before
like I previously said, I'm going to add the same color between this new layer I just drew and the previous shadow layer I drew just to get the colors better. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing now. Now, since we've gotten to this point, we still need to go a little bit um, further before we start making our transition back to the light layers. Because I can still see a lot of very, really dark areas here that I have not really shown yet. Okay, so I still tend to go darker than what I have here. And in order to do that, create another new layer. I will be one just finish working on the other layers and reduce. You know, go down, go down to the dark areas and just draw further on areas that are darker than the ones I have there. Okay, now that we are done with um, the old shadow layer, the next is to try and make the transition back to the lighter um, part, which is the highlight. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do now. And if you want to do that, make sure you lock the old layer and then unlock the first um, shadow layer you drew. That's the one right above this, um, this color. Once you've done that, pick any color. And now this is what I want to do. I'll try and apply this um, new this color I picked up. I'm going to try and apply to areas that I feel you know are not too dark and they are not too light. Okay, it's just to blend the shadow with the base color. I don't know if you get that. If you have any questions, just make sure you ask in the comment section. I will answer us.
I'm going to reduce the opacity to 40, 47 to 50, like I said. So this is how it looks like. This is how it look like. I'm going to do the same for other part as well. Okay, now if you feel you, you've been able to you know, blend as much as you can, the next thing is to start having the highlights, to start having the colors um, to be lighter part of your art. Your art was, excuse me. So, the first thing you want to do is you still want to pick like your base color and create another new layer right above the last layer you drew. And um, you just draw from places you feel are like lighter. Draw the same color, don't worry, you rectify that later. Join, I'm looking at my FS image. Okay. And once you are done drawing, you want to pick what you just drew. Go to edit, edit colors, color ready. and increase this a bit, don't go too much. Then reduce this a bit as well. Make it okay. Okay. So I'm just going to draw another color right above it to you know blend it well. So that's what I'm doing. Just drawing above my new color. Oh. Pick the color, reduce to 47 to. So you repeat the same process again for um, areas that are even lighter than you have there until you get to the lightest part. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. You pick the last color, then you create a new layer, lock the other layers, and just apply the new color on areas that are a little bit lighter than what you have there. Once you're done, pick the color, go to edit, then color green, increase this a little bit, don't go too much. Increase this. I'm going to draw the same color above it. Just to work with the blending.
Lastly, what we want to do now is add colors, oh sorry, add details to the hair. Okay, that, that's all we want to do now. And I think after that, then we add details to the eye. And that will be the end of this um, tutorial. But before I do that, I don't like how messy my layer tab is. So I'm just going to move everything into one layer. Once I'm done with that, you want to create a new layer above everything. Okay, so this is the layer we'll be adding the details in. So just go to your image and pick a color from one of the details. Once you pick the color, copy it. You can use Ctrl C, copy, and come back to your image. And then you paste. I will need this um, brush, this is brush one. We'll be needing it for the detailing. And before you start, you need to play around with your opacity too. Okay, so, so I'm just going to toggle off everything and you start applying. Just keep applying. I need to go a little bit lighter because in my picture I have some part that are lighter than the other part. Up, oh, yeah, to the lighter part and click OK. Create a new layer to add this new color in case you want to adjust later.